Christ's coming was prophesied so many years before. Israel was waiting for him. And when he arrived, they weren't ready for him. They weren't ready for him. It took, it took shepherds to come and greet our Lord. It took wise men from afar who were reading the stars and saw that, that the Christ star was in the sky and they, they came to worship him. His own people were not ready for him. And think about this. How many times do we fall into the same trap as Israel? Christ shows up and we're not ready for him. There's a, there's a song by a band called Casting Crowns. It's called O Little Town of Bethlehem. And it says, How sweetly you sleep and lie, and you miss the Savior of the world being born in you tonight. And they keep going through and they said, and they go to us today. How sweetly do we sleep and lie and we'll miss the shout that will go out calling back the saints to Christ. See, we don't want to be found the same way that Israel was found, not ready. And too many verses of the scripture were taught or spoken about over and over again being a wise virgin who has oil, who is prepared for their master to come. See, you and I have been called to be vigilant in our faith by reading the scriptures in prayer, living a Christian life, giving ourselves over to the will of God, what it might be in our lives today. This is a person who is waiting and willing to see our Lord return because we do not know the hour or the time. Just like they were not ready So he was born in a manger because there was no room in the inn. So I want you to think as we go through the rest of this Christmas time that our Lord will come when we least expect it. But also, in our daily lives, God will show up and we need to be ready. In those opportunities that come to us, the person on the street who needs help, the mom in the grocery store. Possibly the person in the wheelchair you see. God has called you to go pray for them. See, Christ shows up in those moments. Are you willing? Are you ready? To be in those moments when they come. So think about that as we go through the rest of the Christmas tide. I don't have a full message because we did the lessons and carols. But just a few things to think about as we go through the different parts and the different stages as we head towards Epiphany. Christmas has a lot to do with Christ being born in us and in our actions and what we do. Amen? Amen. Uh,